Today we're going to be going over how liberation works in Helldivers and the fact that Super Earth could become a war zone. So let's get into it. Let's go over here. Let's look at the Galactic War and go over what all of this means. This is a Galactic War map and if you're interested at all in the Helldivers 2 universe, this map is going to be your best friend because you don't really have any friends, let's face it. Anyways, let's jump into it. Let's go over this map, what it all means and what it means for you. Also, Cool fact, Super Earth could literally become a battleground, and whether or not there's special maps or anything like that remains to be seen. Right now, you just see 1,468 new players hanging out there. Anyways, let's get into it. So each of these sectors represents a sector that could be taken or liberated by either the Automatons or the Terminids. If you look up north and down south, these are all sort of 100% liberated areas. We don't know what's going to happen with those, but there is a theory that there's two new races that will have at some point come from the north and the south. Now, when we go to the Terminids and the Automatons sections, you can see Automatons are red, Terminids are yellow or orange, depending on how colorblind you are. Now, when you look at this, basically, these are sectors that are controlled by the enemy, and it is our job to liberate them. When you go over each sector, you can see things like 63.46842 or 48% liberated, and you can also see that there's 3,358 or 335,000 Helldivers there trying to liberate this sector. You can go over to this sector, the Mirren sector, and see this 0.01% liberated with 24,000 hard-headed souls working to liberate it. And then if you go over here, there's not really much going on. Same over here, 85.63% liberated, 91,000 people there. Over here, you got 63.948484% liberated with 26,816 held divers there. So the way this works and what these numbers represent are missions that have been successfully completed. So the way it works is every time you jump into a mission in one of these sectors you're helping to liberate or unliberate that sector if your mission is successful you don't back out you complete your objective it counts towards that sector being liberated and if you don't manage to complete your objective then it counts towards that system not being liberated so all these numbers can be tweaked and played with but right now the way it works is it doesn't matter whether you're going on an easy mission or a super hard mission no matter what you are going to be liberating a planet if you're successful 0.0001 percent so it takes a lot of players to liberate a sector but yeah 0.0001 percent is how much you will help to liberate a sector if your mission is successful if it's unsuccessful the theory is that that's exactly how much you're going to help to unliberate that section now, as time goes on, the developers can tweak these things, so the numbers I give may or may not be correct. As you push through sectors, once this gets to be 100% liberated, you can move on to this sector, this sector, this sector, and this sector. What happens if we completely destroy the Terminids? No one knows. Are they going to disappear from the map, or are we going to have to fight them from some new area? Do the devs have another race planned, or can we literally just win the game and the map will reset? In Helldivers, the original, the map would reset at some point, whether or not it was Super Earth being defeated and players having no places to spawn, or this whole area being completely player controlled and 100% liberated. Now, one way that liberation is pushed by the devs is through major orders. So here you can see the major order currently is designated plants must be under Super Earth control when the order expires. There's a reward right, right here, and you can see the two plants are Heath and Angels Adventure. They are 100% liberated right now, and this right here where you see 331,000 players working is a sector right before these planets. So if you drop in here, you can see this is Heath, and this is Angel's Venture. So basically, players want to get that bonus, so they pushed through those planets, and they're currently working on the Umlaut sector. Over here, you can see, since there's no major order, you've only got 90,000 Helldivers and 26,000 Helldivers. Now, these are not numbers to scoff at, because this represents over 100,000 people playing at a sort of... This, this is an opportune time. This is sort of an inopportune time to liberate these sectors. But over here, 331,000 and 24,000, 350,000 players are working together to, start to liberate these sectors, which is a crazy number. But yeah, what's going to happen is as these sectors are liberated, they'll go to 100% liberated, and then players can push on to all these areas. If you go in here, you can see there's individual planets that you can jump to and help liberate. Some of these planets have even been liberated already. This one 
Not at all. If you jump in, you can see these areas. You can hit quick play. You can pick your missions. But yeah, basically, that's how the map works. It's pretty simple once you get the gist of it. But yeah, basically, every mission you complete successfully helps to liberate a planet. And these would just be the major missions. And every mission that you fail helps to unliberate a planet or sector. So yeah, hopefully that explains how liberation works in Helldivers 2. If you have any questions, corrections, or you want to dive deeper into it, feel free to comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, spread democracy.